Uh, hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. Today, what we're going to be looking at is the basic movement and controlling of cameras in Lightwave 3D. So let's have a look. When you first open Lightwave Layout, you might be presented with just one viewport. So if you have one viewport, you go to Edit, Display Options, and this will bring up the preferences to change it. So the viewport layout is here. So currently we've got a single. More traditional uses quads, however, which I do use in modeler. However, in layout, I like to have a large perspective view, a camera view, and then a right and top view. So this is how you change it up here, and you can change it to what you want and make it your default if you like. Once you've done that, make sure that your bottom right here on the first drop down is to your camera view, and then same with the other drop downs in the top left corner, you can change them to what view you want. And again to the perspective view when you've done that in your scene you have three items you have an environment light which is your the lighting for the environment you've got a distant light which kind of represents i suppose the sun and then you've got your camera so when you click on your camera like so and then in the top corner here look you've got these icons there's a rotational icon when you click on it and drag side to side up and down it rotates the environment so I've selected the actual camera and with the camera what you get is these arrows so which represent the X Y and Z coordinates so basically what you can do is you choose which arrow you want to actually move around your scene so for instance if I wanted to move it along the X I would grab the little blue handle and also at the end, I'm sorry, the Z. And also at the end here, it shows you. So if I wanted to move the camera along the Z, I would click, select the little blue handle and move it so. Through the Y, I can move it up and down. And then for the X, I can move it side to side, like so. You can also uh, just click randomly inside the actual object I just show you to move it as, as a free hand you can also just grab around the top area here and it's you can move it free hand wherever you want as well like so now if you want to rotate your camera under modify why on your keyboard for the shortcut for rotate you get the rotational handles like so and again so you've got the, uh, so if you're rotating like side to side, you've got the head, rotation. And down in the bottom, look, you've got the numerical panel, which you can numerically put in the numerical to what you kind of want to rotate. Same with the pitch. You can rotate them by just simply grabbing the handles and rotating and again you can just click anywhere on the on the actual camera to start clicking and dragging freehand as well and it's as, it's as simple as that once you kind of get into moving your camera and stuff you just need to play around with the simplicity of just using the move and rotate tool or jump between t and y on your keyboards to move your actual camera into position if i just quickly load in an old scene and you can see I've got a camera here I just clicked on it and here look in my camera view is just this basic object uh, as I move towards it using the little arrows or up a really cool trick as well is if when I go on to the rotate tool if I click directly in the camera window and click and drag it's as if you're holding the camera in your hand and you're moving it into a position that you're happy with, like so. Another great option in Lightways is when you've got your camera, so we'll just select it. What we can do is if we go to the setup tab at the top, go down to motion options, you've got the options to target appearance stuff. So for instance, at the minute, we've got the camera if I was to say move it over here out of the way, but then we tell it to target the dragon, 
it will look at the dragon. So basically, wherever I move that dragon, the camera is going to target it and look at it all the time, which is really cool as well. But also, what we could do is we could parent it to the, to the dragon. So we could parent it to the dragon as well. So basically, let's uh, let me just tell you what we'll do is we'll we'll not target it. We'll just parent it. So basically, what that means is that when I move it, the camera will move with it. So if you see, it don't look like it's doing anything in the VPR. However, it is. It's just it's parented to it, so it's going wherever it goes. So if it was a car going down a road and you just wanted it to be at a certain position all the time. It would be like that. So that's another cool thing you can do in, in Lightwave with the actual parenting and targeting under motion options. Or again, you can numerically rotate. And it's as simple as that. Really easy. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.